Hey guys, right before Christmas, I was walking through Home Depot and I saw something that uh, almost made me spit my gum out, which is pretty significant because I wasn't chewing gum. I saw a pallet with a bunch of what they were calling live edge cutting boards and they were $60 a piece and I couldn't believe it. And I thought, I wonder how much it costs to make those and I bet I could do it better. Well, I came home and I took a cut off end of a piece of English walnut that I had laying around. It looked like a chunk of firewood, but I put it in the sawmill. I cut it into a bunch of these cookies and I gave one to my sister and one to my mom for Christmas to be used as serving platters. And I thought they came out pretty good, but I didn't film any of the process. All I have left now are these cookies. I thought, well, I bet you I got another chunk of wood like that. We can go through the entire process right now. Now I've got here a very rough looking piece of madrone that uh, the rest of this I milled up probably close to six years ago with my Woodland Mills HM126. That was my first sawmill and this was the, this log was the first piece of wood that made me uh, realize I could make money doing this. This log right here literally changed everything for me. I was able to sell some lumber for this, eventually sell my Woodland Mills sawmill and upgrade to my wood miser. I started this YouTube channel and uh, it's, it's been a pretty awesome ride, mostly because of this log right here. Now I wanna set this up at an angle so that I cut cookies that are oval shaped. And that is often a pretty tricky proposition. This wood is wet and slimy and uh, it's, it can be kind of fiddly to get this part of it set up. I got this in the nick of time because uh, there's some pretty good spalting but let's put a polish on it and see what it looks like. Now even before getting started it looks like there's some pretty amazing spalting going on around the outside, a little bit interior. But I think once 
once we sand this a little bit, I think we're going to really see this pop. And I'm the exterior is pretty wet, obviously. It's been sitting outside for the last six years. Look at that. So I'm going to dry these a little bit. Uh, the wood itself is seasoned, but I want to dry these, um, the exterior, so that, so that when I start sanding, it doesn't instantly plug up the sandpaper. Man, there's... Yeah, there's some gonna, there's gonna be some cool stuff in this. So, I'm gonna dry it out real quick. All right, guys, well, it's been three weeks. These have been drying in my house next to the wood stove. They, uh, they feel pretty good, so I think it's time to hit them with some sandpaper. I'm gonna start with some 100 grit, go down to 220 and then 320. Well, that seems to have gotten most of the deep saw blade marks out of it. I'll jump down to some 220. Wow. The details are really starting to pop. All right, we'll step down to 320. I have a feeling that this thing is going to explode with detail when I put the the cutting board oil on it. And last but not least, I need to clean up these edges and make it look like something that you would want to have food on. I've got this cutting board oil I used on the last one and it seems to work pretty good so that is what I will use. Well, I'm going to let that soak in for a bit, give it a second coat. Well, while I was waiting for that Madrone to dry, I went ahead and sanded up another one of these English walnut cookies. And let's see what it looks like with the little oil. Man, that is pretty, pretty stuff. Well, that drank it right up. This wood is definitely dry. It's like pouring it on a sponge. God, it's just gone. Wow. This might take a few coats. But again, I mean this, it's a different character, but I can't say it isn't any less beautiful. Well, I've put a few coats on this and it just drinks it. So I think it's gotten a good thorough coating. I'm gonna turn it over now and put some of these adhesive backed felt pads for feet.
Well guys, what do you think? I don't know that it's $60 at Home Depot nice, but I definitely saved some money on my gifts last year. I'm kind of hoping that once my shop is put together, I can spend the year making things like that, and then around the holidays, I can put up a little showroom here in my shop and uh, offer up my wares. Well guys, that's going to do it for this video. It is a really nice day out here and I think I'm going to head up and make some sawdust. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Now I ended <clears throat> Now I did end up taking a old chunk I did end up taking a chunk of cut off uh, I did end up taking a Well, I came home and I took a cut off end of a Well, I came home